When the cash flow model is ready, we can start analyzing the investment, checking the break-even values of different variables to understand critical states of the project, modeling different scenarios and their combinations, checking sensitivity analysis to uh, understand project vulnerabilities. Now we already know how to perform sensitivity analysis with data tables, now let's try to approach it more systematically. So ideally, I would want to check sensitivity of net present value to several variables simultaneously, let's say all plus minus 50%, and then to display all of them on a single graph that will allow me to immediately spot the most important variables by the higher slope of sensitivity. Fortunately, I have the macro that does exactly that. We just need to uh, adopt it to our cash flow model. Now, uh, here is the macro I have. Uh, let's see how it looks like inside. And by the way, it's a good thing to do whenever you want to optimize something. You check the web. Maybe uh, there is already available macro. You can just download the file or the code and embed it into your file. So uh, here uh, it's an Excel sheet. Uh, let's enable content. Uh, here's uh, some instructions about that. Okay, uh, the file itself, the environment that we'll be using for the sensitivity analysis. Uh, here in README, everything is explained how to use it. And then let's have a look in the uh, Visual Basic Editor. Here, how it looks like, you may try to read through the code. Uh, no worries if you don't understand everything. So uh, what is important here is that uh, we can see it uh, here. So uh, our project is sensitivity analysis template, right? And here in models, we have this macro. And what we want to get, uh, we want to get it, we want to copy it to our uh, investment analysis model. And uh, by the way, in uh, Visual Basic Editor, we have several windows. Uh, this one is uh, Project Explorer, where you can navigate among different files. It shows uh, all open files for you. And then uh, here, uh, the Properties window, uh, why it's nice, because uh, if we click here on a sheet in a Project Explorer, then we can immediately see all the properties. So now our uh, first thing that we need to do is uh, to save the model in a, a macros enabled format. By the way, the uh, file for sensitivity analysis that we are using, it is saved in the template format. Uh, here it is, there is a macro enabled template. It's a very nice trick. Whenever you want to protect uh, your file from uh, your own changes or some other user changes, you save it as template. And then every time there are some changes in the file, it saves them as a new file. It doesn't make any changes into the template anymore. Very useful thing. So uh, macro enable workbook, save. Okay, we are safe to work with the macros. And as simple as that, in uh, Visual Basic Editor, in the Project Explorer window, we just drag this module into the needed project. Hop, and now we have it here. But also what we need, we need to uh, copy the environment of the uh, program. So uh, we can skip me sheet in our uh, model. Uh, it's only needed for us when we are building the sensitivity analysis. So let's uh, copy the sheet to our model. Create a copy. Okay. Here it is. Now we can uh, close the sensitivity analysis template. And, and our macro is still in our file. Very good. Now, uh, how to make it work? Some connections here is needed. Uh, so first in the output, we want to connect our net present value, or it could be RR or uh, whatever you would decide to uh, check sensitivity to. And we copy it to all the cells, all the green cells. And then uh, here we need to uh, connect the factors that uh, we will be changing. So let's say my first factor would be investment and second factor would be uh, discount rate. And now we need to connect our uh, input values to these ones. Uh, we will soon understand how it works. So uh, 
here. Well, I'm doing it for simplicity now in inputs. You better create a separate step for that. Uh, we multiply it by this one uh, with the investment in here. Okay, and the discount rate the same. Multiply it by this one. So here, one important thing, uh, if I leave it like that, whenever I get, let's say, from experts uh, a new value for investments or uh, some corrections to the annual profit, then uh, what happens usually, I just forget that I have some formulas in here because it's my input area, and I just stop, type something over it, and then my sensitivity analysis doesn't work properly. So uh, it's better to create a separate step for sensitivity, and then don't forget to um, link these new values to the model, not the initial inputs. So if I change this value, let's say, to 1.5, so I increase investment, Let's see, our investment now not the 1,000, but 1,500. So the net present value is negative. So what the macro does, it changes this once. They are connected to our input factors. And then it copies the resulting changed uh, net present value, some output, into consecutive place. It's plus 50%. So it's here. Investment is 50% bigger. Net present value is negative. So uh, here's how macro works. Let's... Uh, run it. Okay, and it complains it cannot find the macro. Of course, it still uh, refers to sensitivity analysis template. Okay, we need to reassign the macro to this button. And here it is, the sensitivity macro that we copied to our book, our workbook. Okay, and now it should work. And let's see if we get the same value in here. Yes, it's exactly the same. And of course, if more inputs connected here, then uh, more values are um, resulting from the analysis. And so uh, more values are displayed here on the graph. Now we have only uh, two parameters and we can immediately see that uh, investment cost affects the net present value much more than discount rate. So practically if uh, investment cost drops uh, twice, then we get uh, 600 uh, net present value instead of initial 100. Here it is. But uh, if we uh, have the same drop, same 50% drop in discount rate, so it would be from 5 to 2.5, then we arrive only at 200, not that big margin, the difference. So uh, the trick in this sensitivity analysis is that you can see this spider diagram and uh, you can immediately spot the uh, factors that are most influential and that are critical. And of course, the most critical factors are those that bring your net present value down. Here you would focus how to protect your project profitability and in the uh, positive area you would focus on uh, how to uh, boost your project profitability. And of course, uh, different factors have a different direction to of a change. For example, if you have here uh, your cash flows, your revenues, profits, uh, then the uh, slope would be the opposite one. The bigger the profit, the bigger the net present value, of course. And then uh, you can uh, make the same with uh, uh, another profitability indicator. It could be RR or payback period. And uh, here, if I change it if I say to it that I'm doing net present value sensitivity analysis I also change here conveniently and I think this tool after this little adaptation is much better than using just data tables and whenever inputs has changed you have here uh, links to the sensitivity analysis so let's say my new investment cost is 1200 just with a single click you see here it's wrong now with a single click you update all the analysis for for two outputs and for five factors.